everybody and welcome to the second video of my new channel Hazardous Thoughts. Um, we're going to take things up a bit. <laughs> um, the last video was a bit of a downer. But, you know, we're, we're going to basically go on about computers and consoles and games because they're quite popular on the internet at the moment and that's an understatement of the century the um, origins of the actual system and who we have to actually thank for the consoles and systems that we have nowadays that entertain us day in and day out so from my limited knowledge i don't know much about the early systems i'm not that old i may look old but i'm not that old i'm looking at you you cheeky bugger I'm looking at you but in the 1950s they actually had a system that could help them strategize war plans and fighting strategies sort of like the early version of Medal of Honor and Call of Duty so yeah you can basically thank them for the war games that you have nowadays you know, even though they're not as intricate as they were back then. I mean, they were more for the planning and actual instigation of um, battles against real enemies. So, uh, nowadays it's just shoot them up and they come back to life and you shoot them again. <laughs> so, there's no danger of anyone dying unless you're... Uh, trip over and fall into the screen and yeah that that pretty much hasn't happened not that i know of anyway now um as i say the early systems that came out in the 1950s were for strategy purposes they brought out simple games like chess drafts which were like early board games that were use of the mind to uh, plan out moves ahead of time so yeah so these games were invented for soldiers at that time so that the computer which was the official intelligence which most of the games nowadays in incorporate um, that that's basically the computer's way of learning from your input on how to actually win the game so in simple terms the computer learns off of you until it no longer needs you to input the details it can think of a strategy and um, the early PC that I can know about is IBM um, which nowadays we still have um like in museums maybe you know <laughs> um to demonstrate what pcs actually did and how they processed information and details back in the day now thanks to them we have the laptops and the apple macs and the have emulators and things like that that you can play games on the actual computer you don't even have to go out and buy the system anymore you can just download them onto your computer you know they, they don't want you copyrighting their stuff and getting money for things that they've created sort of thing so yeah early 80s when i was born believe it or not um 1982 um the consoles that we know more about nowadays you had nintendo in the 80s which had the original box um system which i have a copy of not the actual system but it's like an emulator um system you got the games programmed into a motherboard which is on the inside of this and you play it using a replica of the original control uh, pad um, 
and as you can see it has like 30 games on there including the original Mario's and Zelda games um, yeah but this is basically the mini version of the system I mean the system was probably a little bit bigger than this actual box itself and it had like the little flap at the top which came open and then that that was Nintendo's um, um, trial and error console uh, then we had um, Sega's home editions I don't have the original but I've got the Master System 2 which you have put the games in there yeah. and that one connected to the power cable of course which you can also use the power cable for this one to power up here the um, original Game Gear now, this this was the um, ooh, I, I, I think it was the third third rendition of a Sega system uh, it was their idea of the first handheld uh, system uh, which looks like that yeah that's the first handheld Sega and uh, the games there yeah. Wonder Boy Wonder Boy with the basic games on there which you can use batteries takes about six batteries in there and then on the other side uh, they also had the um, the other one the other you had uh, Sega Sony and Nintendo the Sony oh uh, Sony 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 uh, Sony was the, the PlayStation uh, which I have the follow-up to the original the original was more of a chunky box more of a paperweight than anything uh, I'm gonna put an image up here I mean this one pretty much does everything the uh, other one uh, did you got your button which opens it up you got your memory card holders here and then you've got your control pad connectors there and uh, your reset button and power button there you've also got um, a power cable in the back this one's actually adapted to have a HDMI cable which is more of a modern modern touch to the new systems but uh, yeah that, that basically they brought out PS1 um, within the early 90s sort of thing um, then you had Nintendo's which were basically you know you had Sega and Nintendo first and then Sony came in and whipped out <laughs> yeah, they, they sort of nicked Sega's staff in other words the, the people that helped Karazaki um, oh, Kawazaki or whatever his name is uh, come up uh, ski it had a ski at the end of it I know it had a ski uh, it had a more of a ski in it and um, yeah they basically stole his staff and one of the top members of uh, Sega actually designed the first Sony PlayStation early 90s sort of thing then um, Nintendo's next project uh, that I remember was this little number. Well, I say little. Uh, it's not exactly little, but it's uh, they brought out the Super Nintendo, which was um, a 16-bit graphic, I believe. Uh, if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't really remember too much. I think it was a 16-bit memory where the original consoles were 8-bit so they ran slower and the games were more basic um, and this was like the new thing uh, the standardized games 
Yeah, basically they they were the old systems, and these are the new products with the new games, which were more up to date, and they had better graphics, better sounds, and yeah, everything to sell to a kid really. So these are the best. Uh, they brought out that. Uh, yeah, uh, as you saw, I had. Um, Star Wing on there. I haven't actually played that one. I mean, it didn't really interest me as much as most other games in the genre because I was more of a Street Fighter um, maniac. Uh, also came with a case. You know, you got the case that came with it. Yeah. Uh, which, if I open up, hopefully nothing falls out which holds the games and the console in now. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm, I've gone out and I've gone and bought the original games that I had, or trying to get the original games that I had, because um, foolishly, when I was young, and sold my consoles and my games. <gasps> Shock of all horrors! How could you? I know, I know. I'm, I'm bad. I shouldn't sell these things. Well, I got uh, Jurassic Park, which was a, quite an interesting game, a little number. Uh, Street Fighter 2, of course, my original, original one. And then I got Mickey Mania, another original that I had. Uh, and Lemmings. And I've also got a box version of The Mask. Now, that was a weird film. I can tell you that. But we'll discuss films in another video. At the moment, we're just going over games. Um, yeah, I mean, they were the Super Nintendo games. I mean, then you had the PS games. We had the uh, original games uh, for PlayStation, which were like that. You had your sort of case, standard case. And you had your little bit of paper in the front. With, you had to make sure it had the original logo as well. The holographic logo. Got to make sure you have all the correct things. Then you had a little booklet inside. Gave you all the details and whatnot of the game. Uh, of course, obviously, you have the game itself, which sometimes had the silver under coat or you had the black like a black disc and then you've got the back piece of uh, art showing you what the game's like and going over the story of the character and whatnot and the front uh, picture of course which is easily removed uh, yeah then then Sony bought out, uh, oh, yeah. then there was um, PS2s, which was a very chunky black number, more like the PS3s, original PS3s that we know that look like the George Foreman toaster grill. Um, yeah, they were they were sort of a boxed version. Yeah, it, 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 it very uh, similar. I'm getting a sort of a pattern emerging here. They they bring out like a boxed version, like with all the edges and as thick as a brick, and then they bring out the uh, tiny little piddlers that have the curves in them. But anyway, I move on. Then they brought out PS2. Uh, PS2 games were like this. Uh, the wonderful PS2 written here. The uh, logo, obviously. This is the British version, the PAL, PAL no, version. Uh, had the age on there, of course. Making sure kiddies don't go out and buy it when they're underage. Uh, and then you would have, wouldn't have the little flibbity flobbity like you had in the first one you'd have the uh, booklet which had the game uh, details and 
pictures and what have you in there. Uh, you'd have the game, obviously. And these games were standard, really. They they had the, uh, you know, he's looking at you, kid, sort of thing on there. Uh, so you could uh, see yourself and just think, oh, I don't need a mirror. Uh, we also had a port here to hold the memory cards. I don't actually think anyone really used these. It was just a weird idea at the time. And then, of course, you had the back, which has pictures of the game and a little bit of detail at the bottom. Blah, 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 yakety smackety, yeah. Then, after that, we have the PS3. Now, Sony brought out this one. These uh, smaller box, see-through. Sometimes it had a bit of colour in it. Depending on the game, it had like uh, blue or it had red or black. Uh, they were the only standard ones that I saw. These only have the innards and a lot of uh, tat that come with them. You got all like, oh, buy our other games. Don't forget the other games now. Uh, network systems because this system actually was able to adapt to connect to the internet and uh, able, well the PS2 also had internet access but it wasn't all that great it was only in its baby stage and you know it worked great but then we have the booklet which tells us all about the control pad and basically what's in the game um, and it won't go back into the, the box because it's a dick. Get in there, and the uh, unlike the PS2, the um, bit of paper that was in the plastic there, it's very loose when you opened it up, so it was always flopping about. There we go. Right then, you got. The game, obviously. Again, they all only had the standard shiny mirror in there. So in case you want to do your hair or fix up your lips and makeup, you've got. Well, not me personally. You know, I don't wear makeup. Only when I'm on stage. But you know, they have them for you. And as you can see, they took out the. Uh, memory card holder the uh, which they found was obsolete it's like why what the hell which i have right here the original 3000 psp uh console handheld their their first idea of a handheld system is a bit dusty don't mind that <coughs> but uh yes Basically, it opens thusly. Mm -hmm. Very snazz, I do say so myself. Uh, closes like thus. Then you would have a battery, lithium battery, here, uh, which you plug your system here. Uh, headphones would go here, so you didn't bother everyone else while you were sitting in the library or in a church trying to ignore the priest but um, yeah uh, you have the 3000 version and then smartly woohoo they came out with the new version woo -hoo 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 -hoo. the slimmer sleek ooh that doesn't open hello okay is it Oh, that, <laughs> that's because that, 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 that's the Wi-Fi, huh? Because, funnily enough, these things connected to the internet Wi-Fi. You know, they, they, were, they were like little mini computers. Great! So, how the freak did you... Oh, yeah, it's just a little... They, they've taken the flippity-flippity and then they just put this thing there to go, eh. And then I've got a game in there. Woohoo! 
Ah, Lara Croft. Yay, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, might as well while I'm here. That's what the games look like. Standing mirror, you know, it's a smaller mirror. It's compact, this one, you know, in case you want to fix up your eyebrows or something, you know. You know, the image is not as clear as the uh, standard PlayStation games, but on the whole, on, on, on the whole, what are you getting that? Really? You're going to play me like this? No, you're not going to shut now, are you? Okay. Right. That way. Ah! <laughs> Putting it in the wrong way would help. Quack. Anyway. You can play movies on these as well uh, with the accompanying UMD films. Now they were like normal everyday films. Like again, I'm going to go on about movies in another video. But just to show you, get the idea, you get a movie like that. Look, a UMD. Isn't it cute? Ha, mouth, mouth watering. But anyway, yes. Uh, then you had a little bit of shog and gog and lagen with uh, other UMDs you could get in the uh, deal. Oh, collect them all. But yes, wonderful. Uh, but I, I, I only have a few of these. these are, uh, like I said, I couldn't really be asked to go for all that nonsense. Uh, I got a full game game there. As you can see, it's pretty much standard side box for UMDs and games. And you got your, ooh, this one. This one helps you learn to talk in different languages. Even though you, it's hard enough learning English, let alone learning all the other bleeding languages. But you had that, went with that, and then you had a little microphone that picked you up in there which you clicked into the PSP uh, I'll show you I'll show you how it worked the, the grandeur of technology how it has progressed here we go you know for, for all you uh, lovers of technology out there oh wait for it wait for it oh 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 wrong way oh. no wrong way what the heck won't go in Oh, there you go. It's in. Hey! You got it in! That's what she said. Right, anyway. Yes, yeah, so it goes on like that and you uh, turn up the volume of the uh, pump up the volume, pump up the volume uh, of the uh, tune. Uh, no, of your vocals uh, there, which it picks you up and, well, not physically picks me up, it would be kind of hard for a little thing like that to pick me up now, wouldn't it? But uh, it picks your voice up. And uh, yeah, you speak into it, and it uh, apparently teaches you how to speak gibberish. Yeah, yeah, great, woohoo, great, wonderful. And then it comes out thusly, thus, 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 thusly. Okay, this one doesn't want to play ball. Okay, is there, is there a special technique? Am, am I am I losing my grip? On reality here. What, 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 what? Really? Seriously? Oh. <laughs> no. Seriously. Seriously. I'm not playing this game. Let go. Let go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it came out. Finally. Ah, that's what she said. Seriously though. But, you know, come out with all this technology, it's like, what the hell? Yeah. So I, I was wrong, that that is just to tighten the microphone onto the system, not actually turn up your voice. So all of what I said before was a load of toss pot. But we'll, I, I, I digress, I carry on. Um, then, oh, then, what did we have? Then we had the newest piece of crap from the system, a piezista. Now this was a bigger version of the PSP, obviously, but uh, this was in a league of its own. 
Yeah, the bigger screen, as you can see, and it also had all the uh, little knobs and dobs right here for moving around. Great! And the buttons, of course, to move you around in your a normal button. But it also had touch screen and activity sort of thing on the back, which is great! You can actually touch it with your fingers and the characters would move or things would do on the screen and yeah! I mean, I don't think this is working, but you know. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. But anyway, I, I'm go on. You have the game, which goes in thus, thus way. Then you would have uh, wires and adapters and things, which would go into a thus, a thus. That, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Focus. Yes. Uh, your volume keys, volume keys, of course, very important, you didn't want to bother anybody, I mean, uh, then you've got your uh, memory cards, if you want to store more games on there, because this great little number was made it uh, able to download off of the PlayStation Network, and connect to your PS3, which had an adaptability through the Wi-Fi. So great, but sadly, it didn't take off. nobody was interested, nobody wanted, that's why I, I've only got a few games, because this is basically it, we've gone from PSP long and thin to short and tubby, no comments please. It came with the front of the case, obviously, with the wonderful logo. Wonderful. And this is a limited edition. Wow. So limited, no, they didn't make any more. Yeah. And you have the inner sheet, the marble garble, which tells you absolutely nothing. Helps you nothing. Then you have, oh, wait for it, wait for it. You think the PSP games are small. Now, we come to the memory card version. Ooh, ooh. So including downloadable game content, you had the physical content, which was like that, which could get lost anywhere. Babies could swallow. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know why they bothered. Why? What was the point? You know, they're trying to kill off people, that's what it is. Idiots that go around swallowing game console cartridges, you know. That was a killer, man, killer. Bad idea. But from Sony, we went from Sony onto Nintendo's. Uh, now we have the N64, which is in a beautiful case, beautiful. Beautiful case, uh, which I also bought recently, which has nearly 20,000 zips on it, which you open one and it's like, oh, well where is it? <laughs> so many compartments. And then you have the console, which I have the uh, purple version. I've also got a Pokemon version. You want to catch them all? Uh, productivity. Um, but yes, uh, that's going from Nintendo, uh, so, oh, 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 wait for it now. Seriously, going on, going on to the fact that I love Pokemon, no, I don't know if I made that point clear, but I love Pokemon. Um, I ended up getting the handheld version of the Nintendo which I don't think Microsoft has actually come out with a handheld console yet. I could be wrong. Now, taking into account, this is not the original. The original of this console was, do I have to say it? Bulkier and boxier than this. This one's got more curves on it. So basically, everyone's getting the idea, go from big and chunky to little and small. Now, this 
is the Game Boy Color. They had the original Game Boys, which was the big chunky box paperweight. And then they came out with these little numbers. Now there's loads of different editions. There's see-through ones, there's different colors. I went for the Pokemon edition, of course. I mean, who wouldn't at the end of the day? I mean, look at this. Oh, cute. Uh, you know, you got your place to uh, put your batteries in there. Uh -huh. Two batteries which probably lasted you longer than an actual CD player would. Uh, your cartridge at the top where you put your games. Lovely, lovely. And then we go to the edition. Of, well, they brought out two other editions. They brought out the um, Nintendo, like, boxy sort of DS. Then they had a 3DS. <laughs> well, this video's gone on for longer than I thought it would do. But, um, yeah. Um, sadly, there were quite a few consoles I couldn't fit in. The, the video would have just droned on for far too long i mean it's gone on for long enough as it is um so yeah um i'm gonna put like pictures um up now of um consoles that we didn't sadly didn't get to mention um such as the dreamcast um the nintendo switch um, the Switch Lite, which has just recently come out. If there's any um, consoles that I haven't mentioned, um, plus games, I mean, I didn't get a chance to mention the DS games, uh, or the 3DS games, or the Wii games. Uh, oh yeah, the Nintendo Wii, I didn't mention the Nintendo Wii, did I? Um, and the Xbox 360. Um, yeah, so if there's any other consoles that I've missed, I'm sorry. You know, it just the video was taking far too long as it was. Um, but please comment below if you have any that you had that I didn't have or haven't got um, that you'd like to have. Um, yeah, if you have any comments about the video in general, uh, any tips or things that I could do better, please let me know, you know, constructive criticism, as I said, is always appreciated, um, so yeah, as always, take care and be yourself.